What up, ladies and gentlemen? Jesse Wooden here. We are at the, once again, the George Washington National Forest, which is a series of forests south of the Shenandoah National Park, above the Jefferson National Forest. And I am here with Road to the Bow. No. She's tired. She already walked. It is for YouTube. She walked 50 feet. She's tired. We're on the Lanham Loop, which is a five mile, six mile loop, but we're just gonna go about three miles a day up and then we're gonna go to the top of the mountain. Now we both got hammocks, so finding out where we can get trees up there is a little difficult. It's made for tents, not really hammocks. So we'll figure it out. We've also got a synthetic underquilt. I've never used a synthetic before, so we'll figure out how that works. The goal is that it was rain and thunderstorms. And if you look, there are not a lot of cars here. It's a Friday, which usually it's packed on Fridays and Saturdays, but there's only three cars, ours included. So hopefully that means at max, there'll be four people camping up top, which means we will hopefully have enough trees and a beautiful view. Although it's a bit overcast today. It's 57 now. At one o'clock, 120, it's gonna be 68 degrees by 4 p.m. So about two hours before sunset. And the lowest it's gonna get is 55 tonight. So I'm super warm. So we brought our Thermalite sleeping bag inserts, which actually can double as a blanket if your sleeping bag's too hot. But just in case the wind picks up, we're on a mountain, it rains, we got a plan B, right? Which means you carry more stuff. But it's okay, you know what yesterday was? Leg day. You know what today is? Leg day. Look at that, it's like, it's like smoke or fog. Going inside the cloud. Look at this. Wait, let's record it. Looks like something from a, a horror movie. No fog over there. But as you slowly go over here, up this crazy cool trail, you can see the fog's over there. Phew, it's a lot of work. All right, I think it might be off to our left. I like your attitude. There's the fire ring. And then the ground is all squishy over here. See how squishy it is? Yeah, it looks So we stopped for a snack break, but this is also a beautiful campsite with a view that you cannot see because we're in a cloud. <laughs> So there's, there's actually nothing to see beyond about 60 to 100 feet. It's crazy how misty it is. And the cameras actually had a lot more mist. So um, I just love the ground here. It's so squishy. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, you see how like the entire ground squishes? Whatever moss covering they created here, planted here, really just, it's so amazing how soft it is. So even if you had a, a tent with like a ground pad or a sleeping pad or even just an air mattress. I mean, it's super soft. So if you're a hammock camper, you don't really care. There's some reasonably good trees, but the views around here are amazing. And we actually have cell phone signal. Um, there's a good fire ring here too. So if you wanted to do a fire, not much, not much wood, it's not punky. There are a few dead trees though around here. So you could gather if you wanted, but we're gonna head to the spring cause we're out of water and head to the top of the mountain and see if we can find some trees that are reasonably good for the hammock. We might have to go down a little bit, which is really steep up there. I'm gonna eat food. And they have 20 billion gallons of energy. Me, I didn't. I should have had that sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. I got two and I ate one. Saved the other one for Robo. She didn't eat it. She ate a whole butt bag of those lasagna meals. It's like 680 calories. She like ate the whole thing. I think she breathed once. Yeah, 690. That's a lot. <laughs> Is that good? It is. It's a lot of it's a lot of calories. That's uh, one fourth my daily supply with my workout, even though I'm not eating that much. So you ate basically, I would say more than more than half of your daily supply of calories. Well, oh, she's carrying a pack and gear. Now she's going down the hill because she got so much energy. She was whining, couldn't walk, holding the way here. Now she's going. Buck ten. She's disappearing into the fog. It's a spring. It rained. I wonder if it's any deeper. Let's find out. There's some. Okay, look. It's not falling very much though. Not very much. <laughs> Have people 
people been down here? Just Alvis and I. Really? Nobody else in the world? Well, if they did, they they left no... Straves. That's I right. Mean. I saw snow. I saw it was clouds. You're like, you're literally in the clouds, Rowan. <laughs> Is that snow? Whoa, it's this cloud? Yeah, man. That was a cloud? That cool. There we go. There's a mountain. See it? Off to your right? Yeah. Oh, and it disappeared again. Yeah, because it's too clouds. I can see it, though. There's clouds over there. So it looks like these clouds are, are going away. Yeah. <laughs> now let me give you a tour of the campsite here. I had my camic set up all pretty. And in the middle of the night when she was trying to go to bed, she got, you know, just sad, missed home. So I gave her the tarp that made it feel like a tent. So she felt, you know, safe. She likes forts. Lighter green, you know, housefly actually has doors on the tarp that you can wrap around and close it if you want. It helps against wind. But, you know, it feels like a tent, especially if you put it really close to the ground. So I managed to get a separate tree at the end there so I could set my hammock on a separate end tree and hers on the right tree. But we sh still shared the same base tree, so we could still be close at the head end of the hammock. Well, in the middle of the night, you know, I, I set that up, but I didn't get my tarp. So it started raining at like 1 a.m. So I managed to grab all the stuff, shove it under her tarp, and then hastily set up my tarp that I had left on the other side. Which is fine. It didn't rain heavy enough that it would fall on the ground or anything. I was up at like 5 and then up again at, um, I would say, about 8.30. So I went over to the fire pit and got some coffee. I never did get a fire going. Most of the, I didn't have time to make a feather stick. So after my coffee, I decided to take a walk. And the clouds had cleared around sunset. And then in the morning, they had cleared around 8. So it was overcast both days. but when we watched the sunset and when I woke up the next morning, I could, you know, get some really nice views. I was a bit worried because I had never tested the, you know, ember under quilt, but it must have worked because she slept for 12 hours. You didn't record as much, I'm sorry. Sorry. That one is blooming. Those are budding. How soft it is. 